at some point in the last couple of years, you've probably read or heard that you should be using a password vault, also known as a password keeper or a password manager. Password management software stores your passwords in an encrypted database in the cloud, and you access it using a desktop or mobile app or a plugin to your favorite browser. While the vendor database isn't immune from security incidents, it's much more secure than anything that you can set up. But password management software can do more than just warehouse your passwords for you. We're going to start with a few things that might seem obvious once you think about them, and a few more that you may not have thought about. For example, your password manager can launch websites for you. When I want to watch a movie, I hit my password manager icon, start to type in Netflix, and then click the button. It knows my Netflix account. One mouse click, it will launch the website and log me in. When I'm done with my movie, my password manager is happy to have a chat with me about the security of my passwords and let me know where I might need to do a little bit of work to be more secure. It also checks those passwords against databases on the dark web. If it sees that my user ID and password have been compromised, it will come back and tell me that, and it will let me know any place that I'm reusing that password so I can update it everywhere. Of course, that part never happens because I'm using unique passwords everywhere. You are too, right? Okay, we know we're supposed to be doing that, but you just can't remember that many passwords. I've got over 400 accounts stored in my password manager. There's no way I'm remembering that many. But with my password manager, I don't have to. I know four passwords. I have a computer and a password manager at home, a computer and a password manager at work, and everything else is in the vault. I don't have to know. If I remember it, it's an accident. Now, because I'm able to manage that many unique passwords with my password vault, I'm also able to follow another piece of advice, and that is to have unique and complex passwords. My password manager generates them for me. Whenever I need to create or update a password, I just click the button. It will generate some complex beastie that I could never have thought of and would never remember. Fill it in for me. If I need it, I can look it up. I can copy it from the manager and paste it into whatever I'm logging into. Um, I'm not kidding you. I really don't know most of my passwords anymore. The vault just takes care of it. It takes care of some other things, too. For example, it helps me organize my accounts. Now, you can see that I organize my stuff by function. When I'm looking for a particular thing, I'm looking for all my streaming services or all of my work passwords. They're all in one place. But you can organize by whatever is important to you. Want to collect up all your paid subscriptions in one place so you can manage the money? Need a dumping ground for all those one-time use accounts that you had to create but are never going to use again? Your password vault can organize those. Keep them out of your way. Now, most password vaults will also give you a certain amount of secure storage. While this isn't the place I'd want as the primary repository for all my secure documents, it's got some really handy features. If, for example, you're traveling, you're encouraged to have copies and to know all of your passport and ID numbers. Who really knows that? And if you're carrying them with you in the wallet that gets stolen, how does that help you? Store a copy of your passport in your vault, and if all that goes away, all you need is an internet connection to get that information so you can get back to your embassy and have your password reissued. If you have a group or a family plan, your password vault can also manage password sharing for you. I have the Netflix account. My husband has the Netflix account. He changes the password. I no longer know the passwords. So now I change the password, which means his doesn't work anymore, so he changes the password. Until we got a shared password vault. Now we have a shared folder, and when either one of us changes the password, the other one gets updated immediately. Domestic harmony, fewer password changes, lots of convenience. And that also leads me to the last and possibly most important element of a password vault that you may not have considered. And that's what happens when things go wrong. Our group membership allows me to set an emergency contact. That person can request access to my passwords at any time. I'm able to set a time limit for response, let's say 48 hours. If that family member requests access to my passwords, I have 48 hours to say no. If I don't, then they get access. If I'm out of the country, have no internet access, that person can access my account, get whatever I need, including that picture of my passport, and provide it for me from wherever they're at. More importantly, if something happens to me while I'm traveling and I don't come back, 
that person has all the information they need to handle my affairs. I'm spending a lot of time lately helping people through digital legacy. Somebody who's passed away and didn't have a plan for that. By contrast, if something should happen to me, when my emergency contact logs into my vault, they're not only going to see every account that I have so they know what needs to be closed, they can access the things that need to be accessed, they're also going to see in my secure documents information about all of my life insurance, about our house and cars, all the things that somebody might need to take care of if something happened to me and I wasn't able to take care of it myself. We all need to gather this information together. But sometimes we don't get around to it, and we don't know when that time is going to run out. Having the ability to allow an emergency contact to step into that space and have access to all of those things without you having to list them out is a huge part of making it possible for someone to manage both your digital and real life legacy should that need arise. So there you have it. More than just a notebook to keep your passwords in, a password vault is a tool that can help you manage your digital life and legacy. If you don't have one, get one. I don't care which one. You'll see the logos on the left for three common ones. They're not the only ones. Go check out a review. Compare password vaults. Pick the one that works best for you. Use the free one that came on your mobile phone. Don't care what you're doing. Just be sure you're doing something. I'm Nixie, and this has been Nixie Knows. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you learned something useful, please click like so that YouTube will be more likely to show someone else that's something useful, too. If you know exactly who needs to see it, click share. Make sure they get a chance to come spend a few minutes with me, too.